Hi guys, welcome to Sarah's Canva Studio. I'm so excited to share that as of today, we are a family of over 800 people. I did not think I'd be able to get so many people's attention in such a short amount of time, but needless to say, I'm super thankful for every one of you who has subscribed to my channel. It really means a lot to me, mainly because I'm happy that the content that I've been making has been helpful and hopefully has ignited creativity in you. That's all my goal is. There are a lot of channels out there that on um, that tell you how to make money and to be honest, that has not really been my goal. My main aim has always been to teach my audience how they can create things from simple tools like Canva and other AI tools. Selling it and using it as a way to earn money is, is just a consequence of that. And remember, there are no quick ways to get rich fast. So focus on learning a skill, then master it and then use it to your advantage. So enough on the lecture. I'm going to go straight ahead and talk about what we're going to be making today. The topic is super niche and a little bit academic. Uh, as a doctor myself, I have always wanted to introduce complex topics like anatomy and physiology to my daughter from the start because I believe knowledge of such complex topics really helps the children to grasp concepts faster and easier. So yes, today we're going to make a book on anatomy for kids, as you can see on my screen. I've already searched this on Amazon and you can see there are only 2000 results. Um, you know, on this topic. Uh, so it's not very high competition, but it is a specialized topic. I would suggest that you guys uh, see what you're good at and then start creating a book on that topic. So let's get started. We're going to go uh, to ChatGPT first to create an outline for a book um, about anatomy. So as you can see, I've already given it this prompt to generate me an outline for a book called Anatomy for Toddlers and it's given me this um, outline with introduction, chapter one. I'm going to head over to Canva and I'm going to go for my usual measurements, uh, which are 8.625 into 8.75 inches. And I'm going to be giving ChatGPT a prompt to um, create the introductory pages for us. And uh, I'm just giving it a prompt here, what should be on the introduction page. And it's giving me these ideas. I'm going to be uh, taking these ideas and, uh, you know, incorporating them through uh, some elements uh, on the book here. So as you can see, I'm looking for a child who's saying hi, and that's what I've uh, searched for, a kid saying hi. Uh, I just want the message to be very enthusiastic and to depict that I'm going to go for that um, child there. And I'm going to be copying this uh, first line, which is, hello there, little explorer. This book is about um, what's inside your body. And I'm just going to be formatting this uh, the font size is 16 and I'm going to go for this um, a rounded handwriting kind of a font um, and here I, you can see I'm looking for it yeah finger paint is the one I went for and that's something that is legible a child will also be able to identify the words so I went for that one so Then midway I realized that I had started from the first page and that's not what I wanted. So I'm just adjusting the numbering over here. Ideally, I want to start with page number four. So I'm just adding uh, three pages uh, above the introductory page. And we are going to be starting from page four. Now from page five, we're going to continue and uh, over here I'm looking for a similar image of a girl but with a different pose so I just click this I button and then you know click see more like this and here it's giving me um, options to choose from so I went with this pose same girl but a different pose um, and I'm going to be pasting uh, the other half of the introductory page over here so I'm just gonna go back to chat GPT I'm going to copy the other half of it and then I'm going to be pasting this um, on the on page number five. Here I'm just adjusting and formatting uh, the text. I am going to uh, add some line spacing here. 
now we're going to add another page and um, finish up our introduction um, i'm going to go for the same girl again i'm just going to be copying this text from here about why learning for our bodies is fun um, and i'm going to be pasting the text and then i'm going to look for um, the same girl in a different pose a much more enthusiastic pose and uh, over here you can see me adjusting the text and i've found the girl that i want to add and this is more enthusiastic and i'm going to add some more elements um depicting um, our text over here i'm going to look for eyes Then we're going to look for the heart and then add a text corresponding to that beside it. I went for this heart showing that it's strong. So, you know, your heart keeps you moving and I'm going to be adding this beside there. And then I'm going to go for the tummy and uh, eventually I went for intestines uh, because that would be the right term anatomically. Um, so. I, I was looking for uh, images but I couldn't find uh, any that could go with the text. Uh, what I was looking for was stomach with food and something, you know, um, something that looked happy. So here's the one that I found and, you know, this perfectly depicted this text and your tummy loves yummy food. So I'm just going to be adding that over there. Now I'm just going to be adding more text that's, uh, that ChatGPT has generated for us and we are going to get done with our introduction. Now let's get started with our chapters. I'm just going to be giving ChatGPT a prompt to write this chapter for us. I am writing, please help me design and write uh, chapter one and I've given it its own generated uh, topics that it's going to um, generate for us. And now we have page by page, um, an outline with page by page instructions of what should be on it. And uh, I'm just going to be writing uh, the first chapter, Meet Your Body, and I'm going to look for an element that would go with it. I'm ideally looking for a kid's body and um, there are so many elements to pick from, but I want something that is more um, like, you know, uh, anatomy friendly, something that looks uh, like it's anatomical. And there are so many options to choose from. I went with this one. Um, you would see that in the end, I did change this uh, to something that was empty. Um, Okay, so after formatting uh, this chapter page, we're going to add more pages to this and we're just going to go to ChatGPT and see what we have to add. So page one is supposed to be the introduction. So we're going to be um, adding elements that are you know, like this one here that the kid pointing to his head, ears and mouth and all those um, sections of our face and body and I'm just going to be adjusting these and I'm going to add the introductory paragraph somewhere around here after adding all the elements. Now that we're done with that, we're going to head over to, to the next page which is going to be the head and I'm just going to look for a head in the elements, kid's head. And I'm just going to go for this little girl's head over here. I'm going to adjust the size and I'm going to be adding the text here. So I went ahead and I did uh, the page for shoulders where you can see I, I've uh, made a page with elements showing what the shoulder can do. Now we're going to do the same for the knees. I've already pasted um, the text that uh, ChatGPT generated us for the knees. And I'm just going to be looking for elements like you can see I'm looking for kids jumping. And I'm going to add that element over here and I'm going to write the text beside it. 
and so the text was the knees uh, can help you jump run and play so for each of those three things i'm going to be adding an element i'm just copying it from here and i'm going to paste it next to the text um, in the next page now i've pretty much sped up this process uh, of adding more elements i'm just you know running i've just added uh, running children and i'm gonna add the word run and then i'm gonna add play children playing and then i'm just gonna write play and I'm, i've written um you know can you touch your knees and give them a little bounce uh so a question there you know something engaging and then there's toes i'm gonna do the same thing with uh, this as well I'm going to add a page after this and I'm going to be <coughs> looking for elements that uh, you know um, uh, like for here I'm, I've written uh, kids balancing so I was just looking for an element that would um, show that toes keep you steady so <coughs> yeah so I'm going to be adding these elements and adding the same text over there uh, beside each element so for study I've chosen this and then uh, for help you walk and run I'm going to do the same now we're going to head over to the section where we're going to talk about the skin um, so yeah I've already created this page I'm going to do the same that I did with above of the pages and I'm going to be adding the functions of the skin um, at this point, I realized that, you know, uh, for the whole body, it only talked about, uh, ChatGPT only generated uh, for us, you know, uh, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I think uh, there should have been a section for eyes and ears and our mouth and those things as well. Um, so I haven't showed that in uh, over here, but I did add it at the end when I created the whole book. Um, for the scope of this video, um, because I'm just sharing an idea with you, so I have not discussed that, but um, you know the whole purpose of me creating this video is basically to give you an idea uh, and to show you how you can create uh, books like these. So I hope th that purpose is served. But I just wanted to point this thing out that ChatGPT does not give um, you the whole outline. So you need to also a uh, fact check and also you know uh, use Google search and do your own research also before creating out an outline for the book. So yeah, I, I thought I'll just put that out there and. Um, yeah, you can see that I am creating, um, you know, I'm just using text as reference and I'm looking for elements. Canva is full of elements if you have the pro membership. Uh, and I'm just, you know, uh, corroborating the uh, text with the elements and just creating this uh, book. And yeah. So I'm just going to be adding text. Uh, next to the elements that i'm looking for on canva over here is a cozy blanket and you know um it's basically about uh, how the skin can protect you and different textures and feet and touch as you can see uh on chart gpd over here i've sped up this process of me adding uh, text and elements because i feel it would get very monotonous and repetitive um if i you know uh, do it in the normal we can do it at a normal pace but if you are somebody who wants to follow exactly uh, how I'm doing all of this you can slow down the video of course but uh, nothing that I'm doing over here um, is you know uh, any different from what I did in you know in the previous sections of this video so yeah uh, you can see that I'm just adding uh, you know things related to the skin over here um, So over here, I'm just adding elements of uh, how skin protects us from rain and sun and tiny bugs. So yeah, everything, you know, uh, from the text that we've generated, I'm just, you know, adding those things over here. I'm just going to be copying and pasting everything that I did previously. I'm just going to uh, be doing that over here. So I don't know how many of you have stuck around up until this point in the video, but thank you for subscribing. And I would, if you're new here, I would 
really appreciate if you hit that like button and if you comment on my video it's always nice to know what uh, the audience is thinking whether you like the video or not if you even if you don't like it i would really appreciate if you um you know write something and tell me uh, what i should be working on what uh, i have not included in this video or or the others you know or you know in my other videos uh such you know kind of comments and uh, and criticisms and you know all of those things really would help me evaluate my uh, performance how i should be doing in the next videos you know that kind of feedback really impacts um creators over here um on this platform so yeah i would really appreciate if you do engage on my videos it you know it would mean the world to me um you okay so let me just explain a little bit of uh, what i'm doing over here i'm just labeling the parts of the bodies that uh, body that we have just you know discussed and uh, i'm just labeling it over here and as i mentioned uh, previously that you know this uh, chat gpt did not um, create a whole detail outline for us like you know it should have added something for the eyes and the mouth and you know all those sections so um, yeah I, i haven't shown it like at this point in the video but i did add it So yeah the point is that you should always do full research when you're creating ac academic books like these um of course there were a lot more chapters uh, chat gpt that chat gpt had generated for us but uh, for this video i've only done one chapter and uh, yeah and you know you guys go ahead and create the whole book and if you are good at something um any topic uh, you know uh, you should make a video on that if you're good at coding you know create an uh, outline for a, a kid friendly toddler friendly outline and you know create a book on that and um if you're good at math why not create a book on that so yeah go ahead and create something something you need something that's not being done already and even if it is being done it's not that high uh, like high competition so yeah best of luck everyone and do subscribe to my channel and yeah stay tuned for more